Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks Will Show Market Review of the QQQs. Thought I would review this today. Uh, actually, it's evening. Good evening. Thought I would review the market because I knew the market would hold today, even though it gapped down. And uh, I think a lot of people were prepared to short the market today. The market did have an attempt in here around the reversal time where shorts did try to come in and push the market down, broke the low a little teeny weeny bit, and then bounced, bounced into the 2 o'clock reversal time and held and closed and closed bullishly today. But I called the market to hold today at 9.31. I'm really going to read in the first five minutes of trading of anything, anything, anything at all, <laughs> anything at all as long as it's gapping. I can read the first five minutes of something that's gapping up or down in an ETF or any stock in existence, and I don't think there's anyone that's better at it than me. <laughs> And it's because I know how to read gaps so well. So, you know, a lot of people have been questioning me now again here because the market fell for the last three days, collapsed yesterday after it rallied, and then gapped down this morning that the market, they're saying, is not higher. But the reality is, it is. Okay? It is. And as we have discussed prior to, nothing goes in a straight line, up or down. Okay? So... Market had buying that came into it today. That's the only way the market would have been supported in the gap down today would have been buying. Okay. So what happened is the market opened at 150, closed the night before here at 101.49, a gap down a dollar. Market could have sold off this morning into the open if it wanted to, but it didn't. What was what allowed the market? Because the shorts are trying to come in, they're trying to push the market down and push the market down and push the market down, and they pushed the market down yesterday into the close, which was a follow through the gap today, this morning. But how is this market going to stay like today like it did and then rally, rally up and gain value? The only thing that could make a gap down like this to flip like this today, okay, is buying, buying to support it, okay? And you have to remember, you know, institutions that are buying in the market have areas. These areas are massive areas. These are like big areas. These are not like teeny weeny, like five, 10 cent areas. Okay. These are big areas of looking at. The fact that the market broke the low today, late, late, late in the afternoon, then quick with bought, bought is typical. I mean, the, the, the buy just scooped it right up again. It just scooped it right up again then a little bit low of a price. Okay. But it was holding. It was holding. The call today was market was long and it was, and it is, and the market's still higher. And we're still not anywhere near 99. Not that I'm saying we have to hold 99 to stay bullish, but I'm just saying that we are holding 99. Even in the gap down today and the break of the low in that one teeny weeny little bar that happened at 1 o'clock, 1.30. Oop, immediately got bought. See, this is how I'm reading this. I mean, see, this is this is the right way to read this. <coughs> see, th see this here? If the market was weak and wanted to fall, this bar would have fallen through. It didn't. In fact, it immediately got bought and had a three green bar rally and held into the close. So, you know, if this market was weak and wanted to sell off today, first of all, it never would have done this into the open, not with the gap down. And this would not have immediately done that, which it did. So remember, support and resistance are areas, targets are areas. I use the very exact numbers often because I want to know what the exact number is, but they are areas. And I knew the market would hold today. It was a great call. I called the market to hold at 931. Fantastic. And so the reality is that this market is higher. And how do I, how am I able to keep doing this again? I'm reading the gaps. And I've just got to stay in my own space to continue to read things and ignore the world. Because if I do that, I'll continue to call this market and all the things that I trade very well. I can tell when there's something good to do. I can tell when there's nothing good to do. Some days there's nothing good to do. Some days there's just nothing good to do at all. You could have gone along the market today, but other than that, quite frankly, there was nothing really amazing to do today. Uh, there was a couple quick trades you could have done, but nothing really amazing to go after a full throttle. It's a slow start here to the calendar year. It's January 2015. The market's only been open for one full week, which was last week. Uh, you know, you got it today. We're it's Wednesday, but the reality is the market's just barely, barely got going yet this year. Okay, it's barely got going, and we need to continue to just follow through and do what we're gonna do. 
and the market is going to start to ramp up here, I think, from now until the end of the month. From now until the next two weeks or so, the market is going to start to ramp itself up and really get itself going. All right. And all of this that's happening in here is just giving more conviction to the shorts because people keep thinking the market's going to break when they see all this red in here. But the reality is, and we talked about this today in the trading room, it's not necessarily the color of the bar that tells you what's happening, it's the price. And if I got rid of all these bars and if I made every bar actually pink and then you couldn't see a red bar from a green bar right off the bat to tell if I made every bar of everybody a pink bar, uh, then how would you know what to do? Well, you'd be forced to read the price. You'd be forced to read the price and to tell whether or not something was uh, going up or down. And that is the right way to trade, though, is, is to read the price. It's to read the price action. And if you are day trading or doing any kind of trading, then you really need to know how to do that. The way to make money in the market is to have a consistent method to look at that is a strategy, which I do, which is gaps. It allows me to determine the direction of bias that something's going to take. So market was a nice hold today. And it's just the best thing for me to just continue to just look at the information with the knowledge that I have and continue to read things in the manner that I have. Hold the conviction, which is what you have to do. If you're in this market long, you know what you're looking at. You know the market isn't doing anything wrong. You know the market's still strong. You know the market's still higher. You're holding the conviction and you're ready to go. So it's just about a full understanding of it. And if you don't have an understanding of it, you might be getting in fear or losing conviction or uh, maybe you never had conviction in anything, long or short, like the market. But the reality is that if you want to trade well and if you want to make money and if you want to take risks to make the money you're going to need to make to take the, to make the money, you got to take risks to make the money you need to make, then you have to understand what to do and you have to have conviction if you're going to do it. I'd say, why even trade at all? I don't even want to take 100 shares of something I'm living conviction in. I, it's like, why even bother? Okay. So nice hold here for the market. And we'll see where we go tomorrow. I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I, we could get up tomorrow. We could get up down tomorrow. We could, we could do a thousand things tomorrow. And actually, I'm remembering now, I did a video yesterday. And I said, no matter, this was before we sold off, though. I did a video yesterday in the market before we sold off in the afternoon. And I said, no matter what the market does tomorrow, we're going to hold. No matter what the market does tomorrow, even if it gaps down, it's a buy. And that was correct. I just remember that I said that. I said that in the video yesterday, but I did that video before the market fell into the close yesterday. But the reality was it was right no matter what. No matter what the market did today in the gap, whether it got down, open, or neutral, it was a buy. And it was true. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I said that even, but I saw that yesterday. I saw it yesterday because I saw the chart. I saw that yesterday when I saw the chart, just like I saw at 9.31. Then the market was a buy, a spot to buy it. And then it had that nice trade that was up into the rally when it went over the high. And, geez, I just... It's all from everything I'm getting from the daily chart, which I just know how to read so well. And that's why my gap rating point system is so good because the gap rating point system is on the daily chart. It's all on the daily chart. Yeah, I just remembered I said that. All right, have a good night, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. The market is fine. It's good. It's wonderful. I don't know where we got tomorrow. I have no idea. I'll see it when I wake up in the morning. Have a great night, everyone. If you have any questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming Golden Gap class, it's January 24th and 25th. Email me at melissathestockswish.com.